It's Ron Goodall from Fight Hype. I come with Greg Hackett and why? What's going on, guys? Cool. No. We chilling. We chilling. Press conference. That's all. So we got Philly in the house. Can we talk a little bit about the involvement you guys are on the card? Yeah. Well, today I'm. Uh, well, I'm coming in second uh, under Hamza Muhammad, working with Stephen Fulton, cool boy. Um, a great opportunity for me. Great opportunity for boxing. Um, kid never back down. You know what I mean? He looking. He never looking to like you know run away from fights. They always give him great fights, and he take them. And I'm just here to help. Now, you know, I, I, of course I know you've always been in, in the corner. Yeah. Fulton, yeah. Fulton's had a tremendous last year. It looks like the start of a great year coming up. Um, eliminator fight. Can you talk about the importance of this fight? When um, it's very important because um, this is what all the hard work leading up to. So we're not looking past this, you know, but we're looking through it, but not past it. So we understand what we got to go through and we understand the hard work that we put in through over the years. It wasn't, you know, a lot of people look at it as, um, as far as the outside looking in. They see it more from an intricate perspective of that, you know, oh, I've seen the good fights he had, but they don't know all the rough and hard fights he had that made him the fight he is today. You know, so with that being said, we thought we would bring in a lot more, uh, a lot more extra talent as far as coaching, which was Greg. You know, Humpty has been doing a wonderful, marvelous job, but they always say you can get better. You know, now it's time to get better. So we brought in a lot better people. Not saying he's better than Humpty, they're both on the same level, but just better as far as the better a, a scooter. Uh, Stephen Fulton, this is what this is all about, you know, better us as a team, you know, there's it, no one man about a team, so we all been working hard to get us here, you know, as a team, and you know, we're not here yet, but we're almost there, you know, I mean, we're here for this fight, and we're actually, you know, going to work and prepare for this fight, just as well as we prepare for a guy that was 0-90, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, because we prepare for them all the same, we don't overlook nobody, we're not underlooking nobody, and we don't show ain't ducking nobody, you know what I'm saying, so, look, if y'all pay attention to this, Look at a lot of, you know, I'm not going to throw no names out, but look at a lot of good fighters and go on their record and see how many under people, pe under people, under, undefeated <laughs> people they fought at 17 and 0. Mm -hmm. And then look at his. He damn near got almost a 50% 50, a 50 radius of fighting undefeated fighters. Yeah, and ESPN pushes a guy, Joshua Greer, a, a lot. And that's someone that falls yeah, yeah, very Yeah, Joshua early. Greer, uh, 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 Blue News, yeah. Adam Lopez, which is a very awesome fighter, very good guy as well. Joshua Greer, very good guy also. Yeah. You know, we had words, but that's my man, he's a really good guy. Yeah, he just fight, you know. Yeah, it's just boxing from yeah. the boxing perspective. Other than that, he's an awesome guy. Um, uh, you know, I wish him the best in his career. I wish him all the best in his career. And they're all doing good, you know. And hopefully, you know, once, um, you know, uh, once Steven gets to the top, you know, we can go ahead and, and, and do another fight, you know what I mean, make some money out of it. Now, you know, Philly had a tremendous year, and it looks like it's going into the next year. And then, you know, I want to ask you, Greg, you know, a lot of times you see in cities, there's a lot of division, but Philly just seems a very strong, powerful, proud city that amongst what happens, you guys always learn to get on each other's backs, also help each other. You know, how do you guys overall link in the beginning of the boxing years? You know, how do you guys meet? Was it through like the, you know, training other people? Being, that's just know. that's just the city. Uh, come to find out, my him and my cousin used to hang together. That's outside the gym. Oh, and wow. then I used to look up to him and his brother in boxing. So it's like boxing and Philly is just go together. You know what I mean? You're going to run into these guys because the city is small and because the talent is everywhere. So you're going to run into each other. So me and Wahid, we've known each other for a long time before me coming on. So it's not like a thing where he got to be weird on the phone call and be like, you know, would you like the opportunity? We will, You know what I mean? It's nothing like that. It's like, Greg, come talk to me. We talk, we figure things out, and then from there we work. You know what I mean? We all from the same city. And Philly, Philly is a thing where it's crazy because we don't all support each other, but then it's like you have to because everybody's family is that close you know what i'm saying it's that now, close to city now from you know two great trainers i just have to ask you know upcoming fight you know deontay wilder tyson fury mm -hmm. you know i want to just get your guys's breakdown on what would happen in that rematch and seeing you know is it going to be kind of a repeat tyson mm -hmm. gonna hit the canvas or is fury going to outbox him you know anything different see well uh <laughs> the thing in regards to that is tyson fury is an awesome boxer awesome <laughs> but one punch can change the fight, and this man, <laughs> look, it, it's, he's not to be doubted. I'm gonna be honest, and he's not—he's nothing to play with. Like he's really, really, really the modern day Mike Tyson. Like, and, it, and you know, I can never take nothing from the legend, but in my perspective, he's a lot better because he's had—he has a lot better mindset and a lot business-minded. He's a lot more business-minded as far as what he. I, I, I read a, um, a quote that Tyson said. Uh, he said, "Back in the day, I was a killer." The difference between me and the fighters nowadays, back in the day, I was a killer. Nowadays, they're, they're businessmen. So that would carry Deontay Wilder a lot into 
you know, into his further life after boxing. So I, I lean toward Deontay Wilder because one punch can change the fight. And every fighter, me as a fighter, also as a fighter, every fighter get lazy. Besides <laughs> <Sounds> Floyd. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know a, a fighter would get lazy in the ring and they just take a moment to break. Yeah. And, 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 just like Luis Ortiz in the last fight. Yeah. You know, shout out to Luis Ortiz, you know what I mean? But it was a good fight, though. But I'm going to lean towards Deontay Wilder. I like Deontay Wilder. He's a very good friend of uh, 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 Stephen Fulton. You know, they're good friends. So I'm going to lean towards Deontay. I got I, I to gotta, I gotta stay with the team. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's going to be a good fight, though. I feel the same way, but Tyson Fury, I do feel like he's the better fighter, the better boxer. But like he said, Wilder, one shot can do it. So if Fury could just stay off the mat, he'd be cool. He can win. He can pull it off. Hmm. And for the fight fans to follow you guys, you know, any social media and where we can find you guys at? Greg Hackett 86, Greg Hackett on Facebook, Greg Hackett 205 on Twitter. Uh, cool Boy Steph, man. Cool Boy Steph on Facebook and Twitter, man. Instagram, Cool Boy Steph. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys.